fresh as southern daisies, we woke up fiending for some Memphis barbecue. Categorized into two styles, dry and wet, we tried them both and decided we like it wet. Really wet. Jackson, Mississippi. Music, history, civil rights, deep culture came to mind on our drive. We walked into a 50s diner with a hip speakeasy in the back. Kitschy and trendy, it is the crux of the old and new South. You know there was a, cry and shame. a Mississippi native gave us some perspective on the South, his state, and its status in America. Statistically, it's usually at the bottom of the barrel on a lot of things, education, healthcare, uh, things like that. But you know, I think the people who choose to live here enjoy living here. So I feel like the quality of life in that regard is, is better. People are happier to live here, even though they may not be the healthiest or educated people. Uh, they're okay with that. So, you know, Mississippi as a society just has too much catching up to do with everybody else to even be judged on the same criteria. So, <laughs> I mean, you could say that for a lot of the southern states, but you know, I think Mississippi especially. We were finally starting to get the south. Then something magical happened. We felt the heat and humidity. New Orleans was love at first sight. Our host Josh has documented the face of America. And like many other local artists, he turned wreckage into art. There is something about this city that makes artists, attracts them, and keeps them inspired. Tastes, sights, sounds, your senses are completely awakened. We learned Frenchman Street is to locals what Bourbon Street is to tourists. We learned live music is a lifestyle. It's a right. It's accessible at all times, at all corners, and like the food, it's good. Really good. we started to place what we had experienced. A freakishly flavorful mix of cultures creating something powerful and completely unique. Yeah, it was distinctly American. All you ladies all gather around that good sweet candy man's in town. It's the candy man. It's the candy man.